I first learned about the TMT award um, when Matthias Tors, a good friend of mine, won a prize two years ago, and I decided it would be a good idea to try for me as well. Here today to accept his award is Dr. Roman Fisher. <laughs> Winning the TMT award from Thermo Fisher Scientific um, is great because we can do much more now with TMT reagents, but it also shows nicely that uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific recognizes the, our efforts and the uh, quite long-lasting collaboration with them. I'm currently working on developing a toolbox for um, using proteomics on clinical samples and especially on very small samples which could de be derived from laser capture microdissection individual cells. In my facility we have um, quite a range of different uh, instruments from uh, Thermo Fisher. So we have an Orbitrap Fusion Lumos, we have a QX Active HF and a QX Active Classic and basically use all sorts of reagents available through Thermo Fisher to do proteomics. That's including the software, obviously, but also reagents like the trypsin. So the samples that we analyze in our facility uh, range from um, dinosaur bone-derived samples, but also to clinical samples and basic research. So we do phosphoproteomic approaches, acetylation analysis, um, using Silec, TMT, uh, basically all quantitation and identification methods. So basically we use all products um, that we get from Thermo Fisher Scientific for like a comprehensive workflow uh, doing proteomics. The TMT reagents will basically allow us to do more multiplexing, especially in clinical uh, research this is very important because we don't deal with just five conditions we want to compare, we have up to hundreds of samples. And a TMT obviously is only a first step into that direction, but uh, probably the most promising one if it comes to higher sample numbers. The TMT Research Award um, will help us to develop um, the techniques that we are already using in the lab further. So basically homing down on uh, individual cells and do proteomics on those. So from that point of view, this could be quite a great step, enabling clinical research on many, many samples. And uh, from that point of view, it enables the method development that we do.